guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first second or third time watching make sure you hit the subscribe button like share comment we're back with a new video and this is a tutorial on how I do my sexy face makeup because <laughs> sometimes when I do my makeup I look like you know but it's not like a sexy beat I would have to like try to be sexy whereas this look right here I feel like if I just like blank somebody's son is gonna be pregnant that's all I know the main important things are gonna be how you do your eyebrows and how you line your lips and do the lip gloss like your gloss has to be glossy glossy ain't no other way to be sexy okay unless you have like really big lips and you're blessed because I don't and so this is all I have going for me I'm congested right now so I sound crazy I sound like a teenage boy it's all good we're still here and we look better than ever okay blank blank pregnancy pregnancy so I've been hooked on the NYX eyebrow gel for some time now and it has a very clean finish and it's waterproof so I'm all for it for this look you want to arch your brows as much as you can so brush up and keep it thin also use a flat brush to do some light stroking in the uh, front area of your eyes <laughs> don't know what to call it highlighting is also very important for this look because you get to decide just how high the arch is going to be and you can also go as thin as naturally possible with your eyebrows and what i mean by that is not going over your brow hair too much You see it though. Look how much higher it is. Now I'm going to moisturize my face with my Global Beauty Vitamin C Serum. And then I'm adding my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to hold my makeup so it doesn't move. Going in with my Amon Luxury Foundation in the color Earth. Pause. Before I apply that, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick to cover my dark areas. Bruh. Now I can go on. Next, I'm using my Very Yellow Tone Fenty Concealer in the color 345. Then I'm going over it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. Now you already know the drill. It's time to blend until our hands hurt. Yeah. Pro tip when concealing your jaw, smile so you can see where to stop. Right there. We're on to contouring, and of course, it's with my L'Oreal Espresso Contour Stick. Using that same sponge we use for foundation, we're going to do what the surgeons could never, and that's creating a smooth transition. Make sure to blend your cheekbones upwards, that way your face looks lifted rather than stretched out. We don't want a stretched out face. This step is very easy but very important. We're basically using a clean foundation brush just to dab everything in so it looks very smooth. So I'm basically making that face because I'm running out of Sasha Buttercup but it's for the best because I want to try something new. Um, anyways, let's just enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> this beautiful yellow tone. Love it. For my jawline, I'll be using a darker setting powder because I'm not stupid. And that's the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the color Honeymoon. 
Now, this isn't for everybody, but I personally believe bright under eyes are sexier, so I'm going in with my Locket Translucent Setting Powder just to brighten up under my eyes. And while we wait, Now let's get rid of all that stuff with a clean brush or you can use your foundation brush honestly. It doesn't matter, you just need to get the excess powder out. Now when you tell me sexy, I hear intense. So let's force it by going back in with the dark to deep true complexion palette. Let's get rid of this magic dust and go back in with the medium to dark true complexion palette for our light areas. I am quite obsessed with my Up All Night Matte Setting Spray. It just does it for me. Lining my lips with the Eden Lip Pencil and then moving straight on to highlighting. I am using the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in Dazzling Bronze. And dazzling I am. Oh ha ha. Now all you gotta do is let that lip gloss pop. So if you gotta apply two layers of it, so be it. Now you probably don't know anything about this, but this is for people with tiny lashes. Basically what it does, it's like a first layer just to make your lashes a little bit longer before you apply the actual mascara. And it's from Lancome, yeah. Also from Lancome, my actual mascara, which I am applying on top of that base, um, you can actually use any mascara because that thing is going to do what it's designed to do. We've reached the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel sexy and I hope you learned a lot. And if you need to practice your sexy face, I got just a thing for you. Here's a montage.